Please pray with me. O oh God, your will is justice for the poor and peace for the afflicted. Let your messenger's urgent voice pierce our hardened hearts and announce the dawn of your kingdom before the advent of the one who baptizes with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let our complacency give way to conversion, oppression to justice, and conflict to acceptance of one another in Christ. We ask this through him whose coming is certain, whose day draws near, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. O oh, Emmanuel, our Lord and lawgiver, our hope and desire, come mightily to save us. Our trust is in you. Promise keeping God, we rejoice in your faithfulness. Our hearts overflow with hope as we express our longing for the advent of our Lord. Prepare us to receive honor and follow him, our Messiah, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today and Wednesday in chapels, we will be having what are called lessons and carol services. We will sing the songs of the season and listen intently to the passages that point us to remember the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us, and also draw us in to wait an eager expectation of his coming again. So hear now the word of the Lord as it comes to us from Isaiah. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. In the former time, he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he will make glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nations. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us, Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. This is from the Gospel of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom, there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. 
Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would be with us today, this week, through the rest of the semester, Lord. That you would truly bind our hearts into one, that you would be our King of Peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.